I just woke up and I'm going to check the gardens and I wanted to take you guys with me this time to check on everything how everyone did overnight since most of everything is now planted actually everything is planted I only have seeds to sow now I always like to come down by the lake first thing in the morning take a look at the water so the first things that we're gonna check today are going to be those beds over there but first let's just stand here for a minute and appreciate this beauty take it all in I love the mornings here it's probably my favorite part of the day the water is very still today the sun is a little high already it's looking very nice there are lots of bird activity in the morning here too so you might hear some in the background so sometimes I literally would just come here sit on this chair with my coffee it's amazing it's one of my favorite ways to start my days here now i want to check on my plants i haven't even made coffee yet but i want to see how these guys did overnight we covered only these beds again because over here too is very close by the lake and there's a lot of canada geese and they also eat vegetation and the deer likes to walk down here too but I haven't seen them since we got in let's open this up it was warm yesterday it was a about most cut into the 80s in here in New York City is really hot people told me it was in the 90s so I'm worried about my plants there oh wow look how beautiful they look in this morning sunlight I'm just gonna worry about home when I get home try not to think about it too much but let's check on this guys here now this is a bigger cloth beautiful oh my god So pretty everybody did good let me check the moisture it looks they look pretty wet still i was going to water them now in the morning but i think i'm not going to not this bad at least i still see some water droplets maybe had some condensation from the frost but it's gonna be hot again today so i think about it look how pretty they look i really hope these guys survive without us being here to care for them for most of the time so let's go uh, up now and check the other beds real quick let's go to this one first see how everyone did overnight everyone's looking good too so this one i planted maybe about like 9 or 10 a.m was a little later in the day and the sun was already the sun was already out right after i watered so some of them like this little yarrow here we're looking a little dehydrated yesterday this guy here too even with the water so i watered one more time yesterday at night after i finished doing the video and they're still looking a little sad but i'll give another round of watering now in the morning but other than that everyone looks good the fever few is looking very nice and plump they're looking happy that's good the other one there too and i tried to put enough dirt to cover this black eyed susan's here but he's with the water it's kind of settled down again i should probably have taken it out and tried to dig deeper but since there's some things growing already i didn't want to disturb this root system so much so let's see how it goes there not because of my nice sleepy face but i literally didn't even talk before i started doing this video grab the camera and come right outside i always like to check the garden first thing as soon as i planted i did really did not do a very great job with this landscape fabric here it's looking a little messy but hopefully when the plants grow it will cover but rebecca's are doing all all right also there's some moisture in there still from yesterday they're looking good hopefully they will make it through and let's look at this size first this one is still in the shade Everyone is looking right. It's harder to see here because there's so much going on with the leaves and some twigs and stuff. But everyone is looking great. I really like the way the snapdragons have been transplanted so well everywhere they transplant them. It's pretty nice. And that's it. I really hope this snow pile here melts today. It's gonna be warm today too in the 70s. Let's check this where it's bad now. It looks great too. These guys I didn't cover. I have the frost clover inside, but they're higher up here. And 
I don't know, I just thought that they wouldn't, it would be a bit safer on this spot than they are down there right by the shore. So, looking good. This wrist bed is really not looking great. It's all falling apart. So, I think Denny and I will have to come and at least brace it a few things in here. So, it doesn't fall, doesn't just collapse before the wedding. The plants will make this look nice. Okay, everything looks good. I don't think I'm going to water now. I was planning to. But everything looks pretty moist and it's still a little cold. In the morning here, because it's, you know, it's a little microclimate, it's always cool. Even in the summer, it's usually in the 60s, sometimes even in the 50s here in the morning. And then after the sun comes up and goes high, it gets nice and warm. Now, I'm gonna sit here for a minute to talk to you guys before I go make my coffee. And I gotta tell you, be honest, it's a little harder than back home just because the water. I mean, I love that I can water the plants with the water from the lake, full of nutrients, but I have to carry the water. And also the property is just not all leveled. Everywhere is kind of just like slopey, so even just simple things like planting my back hurts because i'm like trying to balance all the time because nothing is all really straight i did not take that into consideration plus once i had this a garden here before this is the place i had my first garden i was planting little things at the time like little by little i was learning so i didn't do like massive planting days like i did this past couple of days so for today i would like to do the wildflower gardens So then he was digging rocks out here to put on the garden and look what he found. It's buried under the ground. I'm just using my phone right now because we're outside. My camera is in, inside is charging. But that's crazy. So he just found all of this. Another one. It probably comes all the way down here. And it had a different deck many, many years ago. So that would be so cool. Can you imagine if you could find a whole path of these nice ones? Amazing. That would be amazing. So while I'm out here then, let me show you what he already did while I was inside editing a little bit. So this is from yesterday, some little rocks and he got rocks from other property. What did you get these rocks from again? There. Oh, just go and explain. Out. They were buried and I just you know, dug it out, oh. filled it in a little bit and put them back. They look great, baby. Thank you. There's no pile still there. That's crazy. And everyone is looking super nice out in the sun. And I keep looking at them every 10 minutes. I come and look around. This is a gravel path. Remember when we were here in 2020, there was a lot more gravel in here, but a couple layers of grass have grown over and died back, plus the leaves from the tree. So we could dig up all of these rocks too. Yeah, there's a lot of rocks. I wish you could stay here for two weeks. That would be nice. We gotta go back tomorrow already. Anyway, there's so much more to do. Lots of worms. Well, that's a good sign. That one's super white. So it's definitely healthy soil here. You know, all this leaf mulch and debris and all of these deciduous trees. We got tons of leaves. All right, gotta go back inside. Unfortunately, you wanna document this project? I can leave my phone here on time lapse. Uh, I'll leave time lapse. All right. Okay, so it's a lot later on the day. I actually ended up staying a good amount of time inside, doing some editing so I could get some videos up while we are still here. But I'm still gonna try to do at least one wildflower garden out here. Do you think it's easier to start the garden, the wildflower garden up here? Or do the one in the front of the house first? Uh, I think it's the front of the house. Let's work there, this is a lot. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Now let me show you guys the space. This is the first time I'm showing this space. I didn't come here on the first day tour. It gets a good amount of sun. I feel that if we rake the soil a little bit, we'll have a better chance. So I'm gonna clear out these little trees. Not all of them, I feel bad. They're somewhere small, but at least the ones in the middle. And then I will cut some stuff around too and just rake the soil to clear the leaves a little bit and get some more soil exposure, throw some seeds in here and make sure to water them very well.
Okay, so for this area here, because it's so big, I am going to use this big wildflower northeast garden mix pack that I got. Not all the little ones that I showed you guys up there. It would take a lot of packages. I might throw a few things here and there from that package, those little packages, but I'm mostly going to do this. So I'll rake this area right now slightly, throw some of the seeds, water in, and we'll see if they will grow. So there is lots of grass underneath this. I think if we really wanted to make this, give the best chance we could to make this grow, we would have to use a tiller. It says here to build an app two to three inches of the soil, rake smooth and remove debris to create the optimal seeding area. There's no way that I can lose in the soil with just a shovel like I have. I think I'm still going to try to throw the seeds in here and see what grows. Even though I'm not super hopeful at this point, but we'll see. Yeah, good thing I'm not going to use the seeds that I, the expensive seeds I got from Johnny's and stuff here. I will make some patches in the sunniest areas over there for those guys. But here I'll try to add some color to the landscape with this. We also want to support the pollinators here, so we don't see a lot of varieties in people's gardens in here. So it'd be nice to throw some seed and see what it will grow, especially this northeast mix. Actually, I'd be able to get away with only two drugs. You know, I can't help but think that you guys are going to think it's so silly that I'm doing this. Uh, that I'm, gonna, I'm doing this failed experiment, that this is probably not going to work. Gosh, I really want to try. I love trying things and kind of learning with my own mistakes. So, let's see if in this case, the strongest will actually survive. All right, I'm blabbing too much. I'm a little sad actually, to be honest. I really wish I had a tiller. Even though I don't really want to till the soil. I don't know, everything is complicated. You know, if they were in the wild, they would kind of grow, but obviously if we till it, they would have a lot more chance to grow. Then it just stopped by too before when the cameras off and said that we probably just need a tiller. But I have a small glimpse of hope that at least some colorful things will sprout from here. Okay, so now that I actually have the watering cans out, I will probably just water the whole garden again. The sun is a lot lower. Now it, things are starting to get shaded again. I think it's okay to give a really good watering. Alright guys, I'm going to end this video here. We are going to enjoy our last night here a little bit. We still have some cleaning up to do and some clearing the brushes and do some more burning in the fire over there. But that's it mostly for the garden. I didn't show in the video, but I also watered the little rock garden in the middle over there with the yarrow, feverfew and etc. So it's all watered. I'm going to wait until the sun is completely out before I cover all of them. I like to give them a chance to dry out a little bit at least before I cover especially because we're still gonna water it again tomorrow. So the wind is really picking up now too, which is not good for filming. So that's our sign that I need to get going here. So thank you so much for watching today and I'll see you next time.